I believe that there's a major misconception about oxidation, that while oxidation's been blamed as the root cause for so many different chronic illnesses, that oxidation is actually a very necessary molecule inside of our body. And if you believe that oxidation is strictly a dangerous molecule and you do everything you can to avoid it, or you take all the antioxidants you can to suppress oxidation, you may be missing out on the tremendous health benefits of oxidative stress as well. That's what we're gonna cover in today's video. So again, if you're familiar with the term oxidation and the concept of oxidative stress, then you understand that it's a very destructive force inside of our bodies. Oxidation destroys cellular membranes, nuclear membranes, mitochondrial membranes. It causes tissue damage. It breaks down lipids and fats and proteins. And so high levels of oxidative stress, unchecked and unbalanced, absolutely does cause quite a bit of destruction inside of our bodies and may be a causative factor for a lot of chronic illness. Yes, that is true. However, there are two sides to the coin. On the flip side, oxidative stress is also an absolutely required cell signaling molecule attributed to a lot of the growth, repair, and regeneration that we're all looking for to improve our health. How is this possible? Well, we have to understand that there's two sources of oxidation. There's endogenous oxidation and exogenous oxidation. Exogenous means it comes from the outside. Endogenous means it comes from within. One of the largest sources of endogenous oxidation in our bodies comes from the mitochondrial production of ATP. So the mitochondria uses the overwhelming majority of oxygen that we breathe, and it oxidizes our fuel to produce cellular energy. However, it's not a perfectly efficient system. And so it doesn't get to use all the oxygen exactly the way we would want it to. Just like a combustion engine in a car mixes fuel and oxygen to combust the fuel and create power, our cells use oxygen to oxidize our fuel to create cellular power. And just like in the car, there's an exhaust, carbon monoxide, that isn't part of the typical balanced equation of combustion, it's a free radical. Well, in our bodies, there's also a free radical that's produced from incomplete metabolism. And that free radical is called superoxide. So your body inside your cells and every one of the mitochondria in almost every one of your cells is constantly producing superoxide as a byproduct of ATP production, of creating cellular energy. How could your body create this byproduct that's so terribly dangerous without having a way of modulating and dealing with that accordingly? Of course, our bodies have an inherent way to handle that type of oxidation. Let's contrast that to exogenous oxidation, oxidation from the outside world. Air pollution, radiation, smoking or smoke inhalation, certain drugs, alcohol use, these are all oxidative forces that are exogenous that end up affecting our bodies. Our bodies are designed to handle a certain amount of oxidation, but certainly we can get over-oxidized from our environment and depleted of our antioxidants from our body. So then taking antioxidants, be it oral or injection or IV, you know, taking outside antioxidants and putting them in our body to protect us from that overoxidation would make a lot of sense. However, the oxidation that happens from within, endogenous, is not only just a byproduct or a waste product of ATP production, but like I said earlier, it's a stimulant for growth and repair, for hormone balance, for neurotransmitter balance, and for regeneration. And so really we rely on endogenous oxidation as a signal for how and when and where our bodies need to repair and regenerate. Endogenous oxidation also stimulates our body's antioxidant system. We'll get right back to the video, but real quick, I wanted to let you know that if you're new to hyperbaric and you're really trying to learn more about hyperbaric oxygen and its appropriate uses, I wrote a book, Oxygen Under Pressure, which is available on Amazon, and it goes into the details of what is hyperbaric, how does it work, why does it work, why is it so powerful for so many of the things that it helps, and how do we use it appropriately and use it safely. And so if you're interested in that, we're gonna add a link in the description below so that you can buy that book today. All right, now back to the video. So whereas outside oxidation, like exogenous oxidation, will deplete our antioxidant system, endogenous oxidation, not only will not deplete our stores, it stimulates an increase in the production of our body's endogenous antioxidant system. By slowly ramping up the oxidation exposures in our body, allowing our body to adapt and heal from that oxidation, and then allowing our body a chance to develop 
a more robust antioxidant system, we can create a much stronger mechanism internally, not only to tolerate the oxidation from ATP production, but as our bodies are becoming more resilient to oxidation, our bodies are gonna be more able to withstand the exogenous sources of oxidation as well. And so the goal should not be avoid oxidation, avoid oxidative stress by all means necessary. I don't think that's a great plan. The goal should be, however, how can I strategically use oxidation and oxidative stress to slowly stimulate my body's own endogenous antioxidant system? How can I become more resilient, healthier, and stronger as a result of strategically exposing myself to oxidation over a period of time? And by the way, as I do that, I'm also creating a signal pathway to help balance my hormones, to help balance my neurotransmitters, to stimulate growth, repair, and regeneration of tissues. The key then in that entire process is to understand your body and understand that balance. Know when to push and when to back off, when to push and when you need to heal and recover. Much like with exercise, you would exercise to a certain point and then you would heal and recover. And if you allow for the proper pushing while you're training, and then time for healing and recovering, you should get stronger and more fit over a period of time. If you're training too hard, you'll see yourself breaking down. If you're training at the right pace and you're recovering at the right pace, you'll see yourself get stronger and more resilient. The same is true here. If you push oxidation too hard, your body will let you know. You'll feel like you're breaking down much quicker than you're building back up. If you're noticing that your immune system is improving, you're noticing that your tissues are repairing quicker, you're noticing a balancing of your hormones and neurotransmitters, then you'll know that you're improving your tolerance for oxidation over time, not exceeding it. So in summary, let's all agree and acknowledge that too much oxidative stress is definitely not a good thing. We're not looking to push the envelope beyond what our body's able to tolerate. But at the same time, let's now also understand that avoiding it at all costs isn't the solution. And in fact, we should be looking for strategic opportunities to expose ourselves periodically to a an increasing level of oxidation to allow our body to continue to adapt and grow more resilient over the course of our care. We do get so many questions about oxidation in our channel, and I'm hoping that this video adds one more layer of understanding where does oxidation fit in hyperbarics and where does oxidation fit in your life. As always, I appreciate your time and your attention, and we'll see you on the next video. So whether you're a chiropractor or a naturopath, or an acupuncturist, or a DO, or even an MD, but you're looking at hyperbarics through this lens, the lens that I'm describing, which is applying hyperbarics for all these off-label conditions, this is the class that teaches that. And right now it's the only class that teaches this type of hyperbarics in this way, and that's an actual certification course. Check out hbotusa.com, and uh, right across the, the top you'll see upcoming events. You can click on that, and it'll show you uh, when our next courses are gonna be.